each jin answers, heaven, earth, and the man. Yeah? For heaven gives its virtue, you know, virtue to the earth, and the earth receives virtue from the heaven, and from there it uh, flourished the earthy energy so that man can live with the uh, uh, earth producing food, uh, uh, everything, yeah, to nourish. But man not only needs uh, um, uh, physical energy, as I told you, he also needs uh, uh, mental, spiritual energy, and that comes from the inspiration, yeah? inspiration from the heaven. And uh, if you look at, uh, interesting, that, you know, the virtue, heaven's virtue, right like that, toku, yeah, in Japanese. And this part of toku is, it, it is uh, this, um, yeah, a small intestine, you see, this one, identical, yeah, you see? And also the gallbladder's uh, cho e, this is identical. So, uh, both uh, cho q and cho e has got heaven, yeah, the cho q, gallbladder's point, cho q means uh, uh, heaven's receiving uh, uh, palace, yeah, q means palace. And, and cho e, yeah, cho e means uh, uh, the, uh, the union, union of the uh, heavens energy. Huh? And uh, you have uh, this uh, three heater point, the jimon, jimon meaning, the mon means a gate, huh? and uh, ji means a ear. So the gate, gate of the ear, right? And interesting, the thing is that uh, if you look at uh, three heat and meridian, it goes all around the ear, yeah? on the surface, on the outskirts of the ear. Yeah? This is a three heaters running, right? three heaters going like that. So three heater is a protective function, protective function. And as I told you, ear, your human ear is like a human fetus. The head is like that, there's a colon vertebral, and then you have legs, and you have internal organs, yeah, and the legs like that. So, Baby comes out from the head, head down, yeah, and the, the, the vertex on the, on the top, right? This is how it comes out from the mother's womb. And this is very much like a, a hexagram, a, a earth on the, the vertex and heaven on the head, top, and the bottom, yeah? So this um, hexagram number 11, uh, earth on the top and uh, heaven on the bottom, means a piece, yeah? it goes with hexagram, it's corresponding the harmonious relationship. And uh, if you, uh, how heaven and earth meet is uh, between the uh, second of heaven and uh, also the fifth position <coughs> of the earth, when you chain, interchange, then becomes a water and a fire sign. Yeah. Yeah? And so this is uh, number 63, Hexagram, meaning completion. So when, uh, when the uh, uh, water, I'm sorry, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, here. Water and the fire, water and fire, uh, they are uh, exchanged, then heaven and earth uh, encounter. So you need to have a water and fire in order for heaven and earth to meet, right? And uh, so this, uh, heaven, heaven's virtue is a very important uh, idea of Oriental medicine. And when you receive, and then uh, you get the nourishment, both your body and the mind and the spirit, right? And this is, uh, uh, this is why Tentijin, uh, uh, heaven, earth, man, when the man uh, receives heaven's and earth's energy in order to uh, open his wisdom. Yeah? So wi wisdom, when you uh, receive both energy without uh, showing too much of the ego, then wisdom of heaven and earth appears. And then from there, you can work. Yeah? What is uh, uh, meridians? Uh, meridians is simply it's a connection of heaven and earth energy. 
some people try to complicate meridian. Meridian is about heaven and earth energy, heaven and earth energy uh, encountering, meeting. And that happens between heaven and earth, uh, like a, 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 a microcosmic uh, relationship. Then if it happens in man, it's a, a micro, microcosmic. So a microcosmic relationship with a macrocosmic relationship, they are related. So this is why uh, Oriental uh, ancient textbook says, if you study <coughs> human being, microcosmic world, you understand what is happening in the macrocosmic world without really searching for it. Because we are part of that world, macrocosmic. Because in your microcosmic body, you have everything between heaven and earth relationship. And meridian is telling you that. Yeah? And inside meridian, key energy is circulating. And that key energy is trying to find the balance between different meridians, right? In order to punish the organs and outside the body. So this is uh, uh, what is so important in Oriental message, yeah? to understand. It's a uh, man's conscious, becoming conscious of what is surrounding. And uh, so this is, uh, uh, this is why Oriental medicine kept such a long time and still active. Still people are following and it's effective because it is this perfect unity of a man trying to participate in what heaven and earth is doing. Without them, a man cannot exist, I told you before. Man is able to uh, live because heaven and earth energy between. And without them, a man is not able to live. Uh, heaven, uh, heaven does not need uh, uh, man's energy, nor the earth's energy. Heaven can live uh, alone. So earth needs heaven's energy, man needs both. You understand? So this is why man needs both of the energy in order to live. Without, uh, without that, we cannot live. And this is the most important part, to understand that. And then, by doing so, we become more humble. Humble. Yeah? We know we are dependent. You know, we are not, we are dependent on heaven and earth energy. Then we become humble. By being becoming humble, we understand better. Because when you become humble, you listen. Humble people listen to what other people say, what nature provides you. Arrogant people doesn't listen. You command, you, you give direction. But no, in our uh, ancient message is uh, you humbly bow and listen what nature is showing you in front of you. Right? This is an important message. That, that, that.